Good morning, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Here we go again with the CC8800. We're going to try again. Uh, if you watch my last post, the winch gave out. So I locked it right there. Uh, I got recommended a rubber band. But I can't see how to get a rubber band that small inside there. I don't have one. I'll have to go look around. So I couldn't I couldn't get a rubber band to give me enough tension to hold the hold this winch. So I just I just stuck that on there real quick. That should hold it. I threw some uh 3800 weights on it to help it out. It shouldn't need it. But I'm going to give it a shot. I do have a little bit of weight on it to uh, keep keep the boom from falling back. Those luffing arms are so heavy. But you can see I've got that boom about straight up. Don't mind my mess in the closet. My son took the doors off and I can't find a little thing in the middle to keep them straight. So I got to make a trip to Lowe's and find that stuff. All right. We're just going to get started on it. Uh, by my calculations, we're going to need 28 and a half pounds to be 1,600 tons. So, yeah, if you notice that that came off. I'll put it back on when I roll that thing over. It popped off because I was pulling it and messing with it. So, all right. I wasn't all the way ready for this. Sorry. Get that all the way up here as best I can. All right. Wish me luck on this one, guys. The failure last time wasn't really bad. It just lifted up the the ballast tray, and I had my hand under it anyway, so it wasn't a there was no damage, nothing broke or anything. So I wasn't too bummed out. I've got all my I've got all my weights. I even this isn't done, <laughs> as you can see, but I threw this in here. It's a couple of pounds as well. Because I'm going to need it. So I'm just going to throw all of this stuff on here. And see how it goes. I don't think I have all the counterweights Crane Dude has to do this. I don't have all the models he has. <laughs> he's, got, he's, got, he's got 1,600 tons of cranes over there. I don't, I don't have quite that many. Yeah, I know this thing is kind of ugly, but bear with me, y'all. Yeah, that just might be even tougher than I thought. All right. This is going to be 28 and a half pounds. And it's got it. You can see, I think. And what I'm going to do, I wasn't going to put over 1,600 tons on it, but I got another pound here. <laughs> I'm going to see what it does. Just for the heck of it. Shouldn't make too much difference. 
That's easily another pound right there. Let me nab my camera while it's holding. Off the ground. Not off the ground. And although it's trying to pull it, you can see the loose wire right there. It's trying to pull on it, but I got it. All right, y'all. I know it looks a little gaudy, but there it's holding well over, well over 1,600 tons. Holding it pretty good, too. I'll, uh, I'll put it all in the description. The, the 28 and a half pounds that we put on it is 1,600 tons. <clears throat> so it's, it's holding up its, its capacity. Holding it up really, really well, too. All right, y'all. <clears throat> that wasn't so bad. I was a little worried. Of breaking these pins in here I probably won't put any more weight on it I mean I'll try to overload it till it tilts but I'll, I'll do that with metal stuff I'm gonna get that YCC stuff when it maybe when they get them back in stock and we'll give it another shot in the meantime there she sits with her 1600 tons on it holding it real well all right guys Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.